reflection probe adjustment. So what is a reflection probe? Well, when you bring in a water uh, um, plane or if you spline some water uh, in Inkscape and you run it through Blender and you eventually bring it in Unity, your water plane has a water probe assigned to it. That probe um, takes a picture, a 360 degree picture of the area around it, and then it allows the water plane using the aqueous light shader to reflect and reply, uh, apply reflections to the camera so that you when you look across the water you see the reflection of the actual background on the water otherwise it well it doesn't look as real okay so if let's go let's go into unity and so here i have my water plane over here selected and if i hit this little carrot right here and i expand i can say i have a child on here which is the default reflection probe for this water plane and all of your water planes and you import them in will get their own reflection probe so you'll have to do this to every single water body you have <laughs> i've got a lot of them <laughs> uh <laughs> so let me take a look at this probe so over here i have it highlighted and then in the inspector i can see i got these attributes we're going to come back to those in a second but let me show you what this thing is doing i'm sure you've seen this but when i back up you can see that i see my this clubhouse castle here and oh, I'm getting some clipping here. Let me just fix this right away. Okay, cool. Um, and you can see I've got some reflections here. I, I, and this is a good demo for me because this is very clear. You see the clubhouse here. Um, and then you see kind of, let me go up just a tad. You can see the mountain over here. You can see the uh, rocks over here. There's no waterfalls. Well, that's a dynamic object. Unfortunately, reflection probes aren't that good, right? So we won't see the waterfalls, no biggie. Um, and you can see some stuff over here. Now, let me go side to side. Now, when I go side to side, what happens? Well, that house, it really, it looks okay, but it doesn't really follow the way it should. When I go side to side, what should happen is this reflection really should kind of stay still. And instead of moving like that, it should still reflect the castle here. So those are the adjustments that we need to make. So how do we do that? Well, let's go into our default reflection probe for this water. And you can see if I zoom into this probe, the representation of it is just like spherical shiny thing. And you can see that it's that's essentially reflecting the picture. But how are we going to adjust this? So the first thing we want to adjust, well, there's a couple things we can adjust. Let's start. You don't need to do anything with the type up here or the importance. You really just need to adjust the box size offset, and then the position will move it around a little bit too. Now, when the probes are put in, they're kind of put in by default in the middle of your pond. Now, this pond for me has this little area sticking out. So if you have an odd at abnormal shape pond whenever you're doing these adjustments you want to do them from the view of the most likely spots that people are going to look so i'm going to probably test over here because this is a spot where the ball could land unlikely this is a par three a lot this is going to be the most popular view right here there's a tee box so this will be another view and probably i'm guessing here and here are really where i need to make this look nice okay now when the, the probes come in it's dropped as best as it can in the middle. So in my case, the probe was put like over here because that's the middle. Well, over here, I don't really care about what this looks like. We'll come back, we'll look at it, but I'm more concerned about this water body. So I'm gonna place the probe as best as I can in the middle of there. And now you can see when I do that, um, when I come back down, I've got my probe highlighted. You'll also see these yellow lines, this box that's drawn around it. That's this box size over here. And you might think, oh, I wanna capture all the stuff around there, bigger is better. No, that's not necessarily the case. You have to adjust this. And let me show you some adjustments here. Well, first of all, let's, um, let's start with the X and Z, which is out, outwards. Y is up, so X and Z. And I know from experience, this is way too big for me. I'm better off reducing the size of this. Um, and let me show you what happens when you reduce the size of this. Let me go back down here to the, you always wanna work this from the golfer's view or from the camera view. So I'm gonna reduce this down and you wanna, I always try to keep this square. It's easier to work with. Um, let me reduce this down to five and five. I got to go to extremes to kind of learn how things work. 
it's five and five. And you can see what happens, that probe gets really small. And now out there, you can see that things are actually better, okay? See how that house is now lining up and it doesn't move? It actually looks pretty good in my opinion. And if I come over here, so this isn't too bad. And if I come over here, it's good, but things are a little distorted, I think. So I'm gonna move up from there. Let me back up to this camera view again. Let's change this out to like 50, 50, 50 and 50. That didn't change much, all right? But it's still better than it was before. Now, the only problem with my issue with the house right now is it's a tad small. Now, how do we adjust that? For, well, from this camera view, how do we adjust it? I'm gonna have to come up here and show you. You have to actually move the probe. Now, unfortunately, I have a, I wanna move it away or towards it, which is that arrow. So I can't do it from down here. And that red is the X, Y, that's the X direction. So I can move that. Now you can see when I move that away, it gets smaller. And if I move it towards me, it gets bigger. So I'm gonna move it towards me on this side till the size matches my clubhouse. That's pretty good now, right? It matches it pretty close now. And I can also adjust this a little bit this way, but I'm gonna do that later on because that's gonna affect the size of people standing over here. But right now that matches pretty good. And now if I go side to side, look what happens. It stays right on there, right? Much more realistic, okay? Now let me go to the other spot. The other spot people might view. The thing is over here, this on this tee box, people are gonna be looking this direction. So I'm more concerned about this view right here. And you can see that it is off just a, it's just a tad. And now I'm, I'm being really picky. So I'm gonna move that over this way, just a tad. And you can see if I go left, whoops, ah, sorry. I hate it when it happens. You can see that when I go strafe left and I strafe, I'm sorry, left and right, I got my directions backwards. You can see that stays in a pretty good spot. And also when I look over here, what can I do? Well, I'm looking over here and I, I'm not sure if this matches up correctly, but this isn't a view people are, I'm not too concerned about this view because people are really not gonna turn. They're gonna be facing this way. I'm more concerned, but maybe we can adjust this and you guys can get some more ideas of what happens here. So let's adjust the Y height and see what happens. Now, if I bring this all the way down, you can see what happens when I start bringing this down too far, the high spots, in other words, the mountains behind me, they start to disappear or not disappear, they get distorted, watch. So I'm bringing the Y down low and that gets distorted. And the, eventually this whole thing shrinks into this thing in the middle. You might think that maybe like the high upper, the better. And what I like to do is just enough that I don't see any distortion. You can see, look at these trees right here and right here in the reflection. They just start to get stored. So I'm gonna stop right there. I can see these trees right here. These trees right here are right here. And if I, they're my reference now. And if I move, they're standing perfectly still. So I got this dialed in over here on this side. And now, now this isn't a view that anyone should really, I mean, if, if you guys as designers are looking at my courses, maybe you will. But over here, now if I'm looking, we find a good spot. So this would be this valley right here. It's hard because I don't have a good reference. Um, these trees over here, this actually looks pretty good. I'm not sure if I would worry about this too much because now if I adjust this, it might mess the things up over there. You always want to do this from the most popular views. To me, this is pretty close over here. I mean, that looks pretty darn good. So now if I go around in a circle and I back up, and I go all the way around, let me go this. So there's another spot, someone, if they hit a duff shot, look here, that looks pretty good too, because there's really, I see these rocks are right in front. All right, so that's dialed in. I think that looks pretty good. Now let's see what happened. This area over here is a part of the same pond. It's using the same reflection probe. Now, let's see what it looks like. It's not gonna be very good and that's fine because that's not a view that people are gonna look at much. It's like I got some 3DG coming up through here and got the fix. Um, but this is fine. This is good enough. 
but you get the idea is play with the, uh, you can also play with the height here and you can see what happens when I raise it up or raise it down. I can get, you know, match it. So I want to raise it just so that black area right here starts to disappear. Boom, right there is absolutely dialed in now. Okay, so things you want to play with your position, okay, and your box size, X, Y, Z uh, will control like that, that follow movement and then your box size height as well. That is different from the position, your transform of the reflection itself. Hopefully this helps you.